It's New Brew Thursday. Woo! And we're we're going to the far north of the United States today. I so. wonder if you can actually see Russia from this brewing company. <laughs> well, I don't know. No, but actually, I think if you're in this brewing company, you're going to see some barrels. Barrels. That's how they roll. Barrels. Rolling yeah, no, barrels. we're doing. Oh, that was um, nice because that's how they roll. Ah, hey, barrels yeah, roll. Hey. Yeah. Uh, that right. was that was intentional. Uh, but no, we're doing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we are doing the Tide and its Takers from Anchorage Brewing Company. Um, this is uh, this is a new project started this year. Um, batch one. This is yeah, batch one, I guess. Um, Gabe Fletcher from Midnight Sun Brewing went over and started Anchorage Brewing Company, and uh, I believe this is one of their first beers they released. I think um, this is one of the first beers that they brewed because we, it, I don't actually I don't know. It's hard to say because we're down down here. We're down California. here. We this really don't just, have first hand knowledge. Yeah, this just came um, to our area, so that's why. Yeah, but I mean we're they they're also I think they're known down here for Love Buzz. Yeah, that's the Love that's Buzz the saison one. is like, yeah, it's. Yeah, every time I'm not we allowed get it. to make unicorns glitter and orgasm comments anymore, so I won't tell you what it tastes like. But anyways, but no, at the, at the store that I work at, we get a we get a case of low buzz and it vanishes. Yeah, you know? into Matt's mouth. Yeah, I've had a couple different beers from Anchorage Brewing, and mm -hmm. I can't remember what they were, but they were good. Yeah, you you, you actually recommended them to me. And yeah, um, while buzz, the bottle the may lead you to believe that this is a collaboration between Dogfish Head and Anchorage, it is not. However, part of the message on the bottle is written by Mr. Sam Calagione, so it's signed with him. And apparently that's something that uh, Mr. Fletcher from Anchorage Brewing does, is uh, gets someone else involved with the label and then has them sign it. So like Tom, good friend of ours, Tom from Celebrator Magazine, uh, he's signed one and uh, one of the... They, they write part of the copy on the back at least, yeah. the, the message. And they sign it. Yeah. So. It's kind of a cool idea, I guess. I've I never one, seen that before. The one I, the, it was an IPA made with Brett. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, uh, the, the Bitter Monk. I yeah, believe. Bitter Monk, that was good. Um, yeah. yeah, the Anchorage is really cool because I mean, he's, the stuff that he's doing is very like barrel focused. It's very like American wild kind of thing. Every single one of their beers is done with a primary with the Belgian yeast and then all of it goes into barrels. Um, all of it gets spiked with uh, Britannomyces and then- um, um, and then um, is that re-fermented again in the bottle? Yes, they they, they so this specify is triple fermented. Triple fermented three times, not four, not yeah. like Allegash. This is yeah. a busy beer right three. here. It's almost as good. I'm gonna ferment so, beer five times. Cheers. Cheers. Here's an anchor. That's good. Ooh, right so this is a triple. The smell on it is just yeah. fabulous. It's yeah, kinda got a, a a nice nice little sour-ish kind of quality. That's the Brett. Yeah. Yeah, I'm get I'm I, I don't think like, this might be my first Belgian style triple that's been spiked with Pretanomyces that I've ever had. Yeah, the, it's, it's it's not they usually, usually a style you do that with. Yeah, they usually, well, at least they don't specify it's like, you know, a uh, wild Belgian or whatever, but um yeah, I think I think that's the same for me too. It's funny because it's got those like like fruity like, you know, Belgian-y triple notes. It's yeah, got it's got the, the it's got the nice little sweetness you expect from a triple. It's also got like that clove. Right. But then too. you get the bread and then you get the Chardonnay barrels mm -hmm. on the the like washing through your mouth. And I I really do like the Chardonnay. Like the the very first Chardonnay beer that I had was the uh Melange Trois from New uh Nebraska. Newport, Nebraska Brewing Company. Um, and I was just like, oh my god, I just, I loved what the Chardonnay barrels did to the beer. Yeah, Chardonnay barrels are rad. Yeah. Like, depending on the style of beer you're using with, right. like, they, they add a lot of character to a beer. You know? Wow. That's really interesting. The, the nose. Super duper dry. Yeah, it's really, really dry. It's funny because the nose, I think, comes off more triply, but the, the flavor is really like Brett Barrel influence. I, I was going to make a triply joke, but then I couldn't remember what country it was in, so it was kind of fail. It's yeah. It's very cleansing on your palate too. Yeah, it's that really it's you, very bright. It's not overwhelming on any of the 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 barrel character or the Brett character. It it kind of just hits you for a second, and then just burns right off. Yeah, you know it. Yeah, I mean, it's very lively, and it's nice because it's it's got a really nice carbonation, but it's it's not rough like highly carbonated. It's super creamy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't burn yeah. necessarily. Yeah, it doesn't sting your tongue like yeah, like Dupont does sometimes. You know, it's very well done. You know. Well, and I I do like the fact that Sam quotes Michelle Shocked on the label. I don't know who that is. They're like a folky punk band. 
Oh. From the late, to, or actually like late 80s, early 90s era. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I, I was into them for a little while. Oh, right. But, yeah, so. I, was, I like I punk, like, but I'm not into folk punk. I, I like folk music. I get into it. Flunk. You know, the whole like. I guess I, it's more like the the Lilith Fair movement era. Like I really got into that for some reason. Well, a lot of Don't punk rock, a lot idea, of punk but... rock like singers, whatever songwriters, kind of get into folk music. Right. I know Greg Graffin from Bad Religion. Like all of his solo stuff is folk, and it's bizarre and awesome. Like that. I mean, that okay. That I do like his stuff, but I guess maybe I do like. It. But I mean, I was I was I was a <laughs> yeah, Janis Joplin fan as a kid, you know, and Harry Chapin. Yeah, but we digress. Again. <laughs> so maybe now's a good time to go over to Bill's house and see what's going on there. His couch. His couch. His couch. Well, it's sort of his couch and his house. I don't think his couch has ever been You involved. just made up a word. A couch. Couch. I'm going to come over and hang out at your couch. <laughs> so, but we've never done a show on his couch. No, because that'd be weird. Maybe we should. No, that'd be weird. Okay. Like, like couch potato specials. It's like, you know. No, it's like you know, Master Pairings doing, meets Dignation. It's like, <laughs> so. it's like hey, we're, we're doing Orval and potato skins, you know. <laughs> Master Nation? Master Nation. Oh. That sounds dirty. <laughs> that does sound dirty. That let's sounds just, very dirty. Let's go to Master Pairings. Let's just pairings. go to Master no, Pairings no. and we'll be Master Nating back here. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to another Master Pairing with me, your host, Bill Sysak. And once again, I have Stephen Johnson from Newberry Thursday with me. Thank you for having me. You survived that oyster incident? The oyster incident will go down in history, yes. Nice. So, so today I thought I'd take it easy on you. Some yes. beautiful farm fresh corn, a little German Helles. I've never paired corn and beer together. Well, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> um, I mean, normally corn would be a part of another meal. You might right. just have it, you wouldn't even notice it. but. If you were seg if you're doing courses, different things like that, or if you just wanted to have fun and have a bunch of glasses in front of you mm -hmm. and different things, and then you can mix and match, it's just a great thing to do when you're playing with pairings. So this is from Algaler um, Browery. It's their Bärisch Hell, which is a Helles. Helles mm -hmm. meaning every day in German, and because um, every day is Helles in Germany. It's a beautiful German lager. And it's going to go wonderfully with that corn. You're going to get some classic just lager notes out of here. The, the malt, as you can see, is very light, and yet it's not a pilsner. No. Okay. And this is not an adjunct beer, so there's not going to be any corn in the beer either. Correct. So now my question is, is corn is kind of a neutral flavor profile. So you get uh, a, a lot of the. I think you'll be supplied. Well, surprised. a lot of the a lot of the flavors coming from the butter and some of the salt that's cheers. on there. Are you incorporating you can that have corn the, straight up? Yes, I am. You, okay, I'm adjusting <clears throat> for that. All right. Beautiful, clean nose, bready. Mm. Classic German lager profile. Yeah. It's got almost a little, not malanoidin, but it's got a, a, a little bit of fruitiness in the mouthfeel on the end palate. These are I, I like these beers so much because they don't they don't have the the aftertaste qualities that some of the pilsners and some of the other German beers have like the Hefts right. they have a bit of an aftertaste kind of a sticky mouthfeel to them. These are very clean and dry and easy to drink and uh, go hit after hit with them. Jump into your corn, sir. All right. Mm. Tasty. No salt, no butter necessary. Sweet corn. Wow. Makes a little spiciness like to that, this. Yeah. It keeps the corn flavor, the sweetness going in, but it's just a really nice marriage. It, it doesn't, um, <clears throat> you'd think that, the, or at least I thought the corn would kind of be washed away by the flavor of the Hellas, but both both the beer and the corn, the flavor kind of amplifies a bit. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, bit. it's a very nice marriage. Um, comes together. Like I said, it brings out a little more spiciness to this, mm -hmm. and it brings this vibrancy to the corn. Mm. It's fabulous. It's delicious. Don't be afraid to play like this. You know, try a lot of different beers, watch our episodes, say, 
All right, well, Bill did this with corn. He did this with steak. He did this with garlic mashed potatoes. Let's put those three beers out there and try them and then have yeah. another beer for dessert and do it. It's just fun to do that. And you get to try them and you get to see all these subtle nuances. So I think once again, this is another little subtle thing that people never think about. Yeah, I but wouldn't have once again, to me. beer being the most versatile uh, beverage on the planet other than water to consume with food. Right. Um, there's not any food item in the world. I challenge you to find a food item that I cannot pair beer. Nice. So anyway, Stephen, thanks for coming out. Thanks for thanks learning for about me. corn and Hellas. I like them both even more now. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for coming. Welcome back, fellow craft beer drinkers. Glad that you continue to join us. Hmm. Lame. Yeah. That was lame. Yeah. I'm try, going, try I'm going again. with it. This is, we're just back. So try again. this is it. This is the show. <laughs> nope. Sorry. Uh, okay. So anyway, um, we are, uh, yeah, we're still drinking this and it's still amazing. Yep. But uh, we are also going to be doing merch soon. Hooray! We finally, finally have stuff that finally. we can give to you that you can wear. So, as you have heard, we put have on stickers. Your things. And uh, we've been kind of giving those away for reviews on the uh, iTunes site. In the old iTunes. Um, so, you know, we'll keep doing that for another couple weeks, I suppose. Um, we also got punk rock patches, which I'd never heard of until I met John, but apparently it's a thing. Well, they're not necessarily punk rock patches. They're, they're pretty punk rock they're, patches. I'm sorry, if, it, if, it, if it's a patch that's like the same like makeup as a patch you would get like of like the addicts or something, you know? Well, it's, it's, it's pretty... a patch on a piece of, you know, cloth. canvas cloth kind mm -hmm. of thing. Apparently, um, you safety pin it to things. No. Or no, if no, you're no. Matt, you use dental floss. So you yeah, can you, burn sew, it with you your sew it on with dental floss. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, we were talking about this before punk. the show, not necessarily making fun of that. But it is a way to attach it, yes. But uh, no, it's just a square patch with our logo. and I use them for coasters. <laughs> hey, hey, there you, you know, go. Call like, coasters, yeah. It's coasters. That works. But uh, I know my girlfriend Yvonne, she's got a bunch of hoodies with different patches like that sewn to them. And Are they safety pinned? No, they're sewn on. Oh, okay. So basically, it's, sewn a, on with it's, a, it's a square patch with our logo on it. It's really cool. You know, so it could awesome. be a patch or a coaster, yeah. apparently. Um, we're also going to get shirts. We're designing those currently, and um, I'm looking at glassware. So hopefully, hopefully by mid to end, fe end of February, we'll have all that available for you guys. And we hope that you uh, don't make us regret spending a ton of money on merchandise. You know you want it. I'm begging. You know you want it. <laughs> Um, also, uh, if you're going to be in the San Francisco area this next week, I will be there too, and I would love to have a drink with you at uh, Russian River on the 2nd. You look at me as though you're going to hit me in the face. That's because you're going and I'm not. Oh. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Never I'm mind not him. either. Um, uh. Anyway. So, but uh, word of warning, I will only be there till noon-ish. So I don't want you to feel like I ditched out and was like, oh, what a dick. And what a bitch. You, yeah. you there who's watching, he knew you were coming, so he was like, eh, uh, that Peace out. Uh, no, um, I unfortunately, I have to person. be in Petaluma at, in the afternoon that day, so I won't be staying there as long as I would like. Uh, but I also will be at Drake's Apocalypse. We're mm -hmm. looking forward to that as well. Very cool. That's on Saturday. Yeah. Um, and then I'll be back up in Russian River Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, like a, lot of, a lot of time, I, I love playing the younger. Finally, it's like Christmas for me. <laughs> so, um, and then um, in March, you and I are going to Seattle again. Hard Liver Festival. Yeah. So we're going to be going and visiting some of our friends in Seattle. So just a little bit of a heads up on what's going on. Yeah, Hard so. Liver's the uh, Brower's Cafe Barley Wine Festival. Yeah, 65 barley wines, and we drink them all. We yeah. probably do. Yeah. <laughs> we got, there, we got the most of them. Just have a little bit of all of them. Yeah. Um, um, are we judging this year? No, God, no. I couldn't hang there. No way. <laughs> you got you got big wigs in there arguing with each other. Well, no, I'm not talking about the final judging table. I don't want to be in that. I want to watch that because that's, that's awesome. <laughs> and we're, I think we're filming that this year, right? So We may have some filming of the judging. Of that. So, that's, so that is that is comedy and awkwardness. It's interesting. All rolled up into awesome barley wine. <laughs> it's pretty great. The word's interesting. So, yeah. yes. It's, um, a, it's like a reality show for beer. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Also, let's not forget the um, the live stream of oh, yeah. the Younger Drawing. February 20th, mm -hmm. live stream. That'll be, uh, we'll be tweeting about it. Um, we'll also, uh, we'll, I'll set up a link this week so we have like a bit.ly link that you can just use. And In case you don't know what we're show. talking about, we're talking about uh, Beachwood Barbecues. 
uh, Planet of the Younger raffle that mm -hmm. they're doing. It's actually happening right now. You can go to Beachwood Barbecue either in Long Beach or Seal Beach and purchase however many raffle tickets you want. Money goes to charity, and basically you win uh, a glass of Planet of the Younger that you can go drink within 10 days after the release. So At your leisure. Yeah. Yep. Not in a line at 8 in the morning, because that sucks. Yeah, so, so we'll have a link somewhere, and uh, you can go check it out. But link in the show notes. Link on the screen. We went more in depth last link week, so pants. if you missed... Link to the past? No, link in your pants. Yeah, I was continuing on with the Oh, thing. okay. It was, it was moving on. All right. Yeah, link the ocarina of time. Come on, work with me. Anyway. I've been drinking uh, a lot. Like I said, if you want more details on it, you can watch last week's show. We went more in depth on it. Yeah, so. exactly. Um, and uh, I'm going to goose John. Yeah. <laughs> that was so adorable. That was, was not cool. Um, I love John. <laughs> anyway, so um, um, Anchorage, you guys are awesome. We like your beers. Man, it's one more reason to go up to Alaska. Dude, the Anchorage area, like, they have, like, all kinds of really great breweries. I mean, Anchorage, I mean, obviously Midnight Alaska. Sun. Alaska. Um, Alaskan Brewery is in Anchorage, right? No. That's in uh, Juneau, which is much further south. Whatever. Everything is everything is in Anchorage as far as I'm concerned. There, there's a bunch of Alaskans that want to kick your ass right now. <laughs> they're all um, from Juneau. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, they're like, no, we live in a rainforest. It's different. Oh, um, and there goes all of my hopes and dreams of ever getting Alaskan Brewing Company to send me Baltic Quarter again. Fuck. <laughs> um, oh, Alaskan uh, Glacier. Anchorage. No, Alaskan does Baltic Quarter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Glacier Brew House, you guys rock too. Sorry. Um, sorry. Really awesome brew pub out there. Oh, I've been to Alaska. I'm cool. Yeah. Shut up, Matt. Anyway, enough banter. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Stay safe and drink beer.